All right. Uh, it is October 14th, uh, just after 12 noon, and uh, I want to do a live market update with everyone here. So let's talk about stocks. Let's talk about cryptocurrency. And I am going to get into options, uh, you know, a little bit of options here as well. So uh, as we head into the middle of October, uh, you know, the, the, the big the big word is uptober. October. Is it happening? Yes, it is, but not in the areas a lot of people thought. So let's start with the stock market and SPY, as you can see on my screen. Um, the the S&P 500 has done exactly what uh, has been expected of it. The last quarter uh, quarter of the year, we've gone from below 550. I want to say we're probably about 535. We are close to 585, which is the top of this target we were looking at. 550 to around 580, 585 is the exact target. And we are barreling down on that target as we speak. I will tell you this. I have started to take a few of my bullish positions off. Right? I got a, 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 I've got stuff in my long-term positions, and I've got stuff in my trading positions. And I've started taking some of my trading stuff, some of my bullish option positions I've been taking that have been uh, very profitable uh, as of recent so, um, uh, you know, just to, just to, really not even as a precaution. It's kind of like how much more can I get out of some of these limited reward type of trades? And so I started taking those off now as we're getting into the top end of this, this particular curve. What surprised me is TLT. So um, the last time we spoke, I talked about TLT doing an ABC correction, really coming down maybe below, you know, around that 90 96 area, maybe 95 before going higher. We dropped all the way down to uh, below 93. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's where we are right now. So why is that? Well, because we've had some positive economic news that have come out last week uh, and more so than expected. So the question now is, are we going to get any more rate cuts this year? Because we were expected to get another rate cut. Maybe that's going to get lowered. Maybe it might be postponed until next year. So that's why we've seen the bond market go from about 97.50 down into the uh, 93s. Now 90 looks like the area, really 91, if you're, if you're, you're really looking at that last area of um, support. All right, 90 to 91 looks like the support areas right now, um, especially if we see some continued positive economic news that comes out on the horizon, right? Um, take a look at USO. This is the interesting one, too, that broke out. So last time we talked, I was looking at any break above this, uh, this channel here, and really above 75 we were looking at, could signal uh, an area where we can start to see new bullishness happening in oil and in USO. It did break out since we last talked, and uh, 70 is now a support. In fact, you see 72 area, 72.50 was tested because we broke out above this pitchfork. Then we came back down and we hit the pitchfork. We jumped above that. So now the pitchfork's coming, coming lower as we go into November. This pitchfork, por, bleh, pitchfork will give us new support points. In November, the support point seems to be around 70. Um, a lot of this is because of the tensions that have escalated between Israel and Iran. And so you can see here, uh, the other thing I want to mention is, is that if you look at options on USO and you look at options on oil, they're as high as they've been in the last year. All right. That's call options. That's put options. Uh, and that's even the short term options, not just the long term options, but the short term options are showing much higher. It's much more expensive to buy calls and puts now than it was uh, even just a couple of weeks ago. So uh, now, even though the seasonal pattern to oil is still down, the technical pattern has changed. Take a look at gold. Continues to flirt with all-time highs. Will an October or October surprise push us to our target of 250? We're at 244.77. It isn't that far away, folks. We're only talking about uh, what a two, maybe a two percent move would take us to that 250 area. That would be a that's a that's a round number resistance area. 262 is the upper end that we see on the the move, the potential move for GLD. We've already hit the lower end. 
And of course, Bitcoin, which until today was uh, stuck down in the low 60s. We jumped above 66,000 and we were trading just around 66,000 before we went live. Um, if we break 67 half, then uh, that would break that trend line that you see here, this lower trend line to what we consider a long term bullish pennant. And, and if we break above this area, then I do see new all time highs. And I see us going to that 87,500 mark, which we've been looking at. Uh, for several months now. So that is Bitcoin. Uh, market takeaways. Well, not much to change here. Trends and seasonals are still up into year's end. Uh, we're seeing upside targets in stocks and in gold very, very close. And of course, the question remains, will October continue for stocks and commodities? I believe it will.